Hey friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss rotational partition function and uh, the rotational partition function as we know that they are given by diatomic molecules only. Monoatomic molecules or uh, single molecules like helium they won't show rotation because uh, they have to means over here the rotation around the axis is not considered but the rotation between the two particles are considered that suppose uh, we have molecules like hydrogen we have molecules like nitrogen oxygen or, or any diatomic molecule like we can say uh, like we have hydrogen uh, sorry yeah we have hydrogen then we have oxygen then we have nitrogen or we have diatomic molecules like carbon monoxide or nitrous oxide so there are definite bonds between the two molecules or the two individual atoms and these molecules will rotate around that axis or say suppose we have one atom over here and another atom so they are linked by a bond so they will rotate around the central axis and this type of rotation or the rotation associated of this type is uh, will be considered and hence the energy associated with this type of rotation is known as rotational energy and the partition function associated is known as rotational partition function so rotational partition function qr will represent it by qr so qr will be written as summation of gr into e raised to minus e r upon k t as we know that over here g r is our statistical weight factor and e r is our rotational energy and from quantum mechanics we all know that the rotational energy of any diatomic molecule or the energy associated with the rotation for any diatomic molecule who is which is present in say any jth state so the energy associated with the any diatomic molecule which is present in jth state that is given by from quantum statistics or from quantum mechanics is given by er will be equal to j into j plus 1 upon h square divided by 8 pi square i so this term we will directly take it from quantum statistics where j is the rotational quantum number and the value of j it is from 0 1 2 say up to infinity and i is the moment of inertia and 8 pi square are known they are known and h we know it is our Planck's constant okay so and also amount of degeneracy that is our degeneracy factor gr for the rotational energy or for jth level it is given by 2j plus 1 so the total degeneracy of the state or the total degeneracy of the various energy levels associated with the rotation is given by 2j plus 1 so if j is 1 over here so the total degeneracy will be 3 and the total energy will be uh, we will be 1 1 plus 1 2 so it will be a 2 h square upon 8 pi 8 pi square i or 2 2 will be h square upon 4 pi square i so if there are the degeneracy is 3 then accordingly the energy of the system will also change so we will substitute both these terms in our above equation so we'll have qr is equal to summation 2j plus 1 e raised to minus j into j plus 1 h square upon 8 pi square i into we will have k t so this will be our term and further as we know that all the energy levels or the energy levels are very closely associated that uh, we can take a continuous summation or the energy levels can be arranged continuously and hence over here if the energy levels or the energy levels are so closely associated that we can convert our summation into integration and hence the sum will be con converted into integration and hence we can write integration 0 to infinity we will have 2j plus 1 e raised to minus j j plus 1 h square upon 8 pi square i kt into and the variable over here is the j that are the states okay so the states are variable and hence uh, the variable will be dj now further what we will do is we will take all the constant terms equal to beta so that means we can write beta is equal to over here h square is constant so h square upon 8 pi square i kt so these are our constant terms and this constant terms they are equated to beta 
सो अवर इक्वेशन विल टेक फॉर्म क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी दिस टर्म विल रिमेन एस एच दैट इज टू जे प्लस वन ए रेस टू माइनस जे इन टू जे प्लस वन एंड ऑल द कॉन्सिडेंट टर्म्स दैट इज बीटा इन टू डी जे ओके नाउ सपोज इफ वी कंसिडर दैट जेड इज इक्वल टू जे इन टू जे प्लस वन ओके और दैट वी कैन राइट इट एज जे स्क्वेयर प्लस जे सो वेन वी डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस देन डी जेड विल बी इक्वल टू टू जे प्लस वन इन टू डी जे ओके सो ओके सो वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट जे प्लस जे इन टू जे प्लस वन एज जेड एंड डी जेड इज डी जेड विल बी इक्वल टू टू जे सो दिस टर्म दैट इज टू जे प्लस वन विल बी इन टू डी जे विल बी इक्वल टू डी जेड एंड j into j plus one will be substituted by z and hence our equation will become q r is equal to integration zero to infinity. We will have uh, e raised to minus z beta into d z. So this will be our term. The integration of this term from calculus will be one upon beta. That is the solution of this term from calculus will be one upon beta, and that is nothing but one upon beta will be our eight pi square i k t upon h square. So hence our rotational partition function q i is equal to eight pi square i k t upon h square. This result it holds only true for heteronuclear molecules like we have nitrous oxide. we have carbon monoxide we have hi so this result it holds true for only heteronuclear molecule now for in case of homonuclear molecules like we have oxygen we have nitrogen or we have hydrogen so for homonuclear molecules the rotational contribution will be the half of the rotation term and hence for heteronuclear or for homonuclear molecule we need to introduce two in the Uh, above or in this particular equation so the generalized form or to overcome this complexity uh, we will introduce a term that is called omega or sigma and that sigma is our symmetry factor so our equation will take the form 8 pi square i k t upon sigma h square so this is our symmetry we are introducing symmetry factor and the symmetry factor will be equal to 2 for a homo molecular or homo molecules or for a homo diatomic molecule and sigma will be equal to 1 for our hetero diatomic molecule so for for homo molecules like we have oxygen nitrogen hydrogen sigma will be equal to 2 and for any other hetero diet uh, hetero diatomic molecules sigma will be equal to 1 and with the help of this particular equation we can easily calculate the partition function or the rotational partition function subject to the condition that the moment of inertia of that particular uh, molecule is known temperature is known and the uh, the type of molecule is known so the if we know i t and sigma for Uh, any particular system then we can easily calculate the rotational partition function now this relation holds good for any diatomic molecule now further if we are considering or uh, if we have any polyatomic molecule or if we have any triatomic molecule so in triatomic molecule if we assume that the molecule is rotating like a rigid rotor that is uh, without any flexibility or it is rotating like a rigid rotor and if we exclude the nuclear spin and the non linear factor or if we exclude the uh, nuclear spin and if we consider that molecule is a linear molecule then for any triatomic molecule the rotational partition function can also be derived on the same grounds as we have derived this and the term comes out to be you are is equal to 8 pi square into 8 pi cube i a i b i c raised to 1 by 2 k t raised to 3 by 2 upon sigma h cube where i a i b and i c are the moment of inertia of the individual uh, molecules which are present and uh, other factors are already known so suppose we have molecules like 
NH3PCl3 then we have CH3Cl so these are some of the molecules uh, example uh, whose two of the three moment of inertia are equal and hence with the help of this relation we can easily find out the rotational partition function for any uh, triatomic or polyatomic molecule and with the help of this particular relation uh, we can easily find out the rotational partition function for a diatomic molecule and with the help of this relation we can easily find out the rotational partition function for a tri triatomic molecule or any polyatomic molecules hope the topic is clear thank you very much